The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Racha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and labor in the word and doctrine. Shallow one in peace. May that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Now, this will be a lesson on prayer, how important prayer is. And again, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So you can get a lot done with prayer through prayer. So this is James chapter 5. And we'll start at verse 14. <clears throat> which YouTube, you know, according to their MM information, let's say, edical information, they'll say, you can't say that a prayer will fix something. They'll say, you have to tell them, go to the doctor. Yeah, but in the scriptures, we're given very clear outlines that prayer does affect things, an effectual prayer. So, verse 14, is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the prayer. Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And that's another key feature. Right, it's the name of the Lord. If you're praying unto a different God, are you not going to get that? This is Proverbs 17. Alright, one minute. My mistake. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord, the name of Yahweh, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. And again, when we're making these prayers, when we're making supplication to the Father, it's Yahweh Shai, it's the Son that's making intercession for us. All right, so it's in the name of Yahweh, but we do it in the name of Yahweh Shai. We pray to the Heavenly Father Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai. Because He's the one making intercession for us, meaning He's the one, He's the go between, the mediator. All right, just as you had, not that you did in prayer, but you did have intercessors, mediators, Moses, really, He was the true. First king over Israel, and he came back as David, and he came back as Zerubbabel. Right, it would only make sense. He was that figure of the unification of the two kingdoms. And when David is set back up in the kingdom of heaven, right, that'll be symbolic because there'll be the two kingdoms, Judah and Israel, back together. Right, and these are the sort of things we're praying for to make it through all hell that we may see. A better day. So James 5 and 14 again. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. Right, that's how you get the term the presbytery or presbyterion. Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if you have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Right, so that again is the power in prayer. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 says, Pray without ceasing. Verse 18, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of the Most High in Hamashiach, Yahushai, concerning you. Quench not the spirit. Verse 19. So if you're in the spirit, you know, and if you're maintaining fervent for this word, then the fervent effectual prayer of you will availeth much if you're doing the right thing. Right? If you're of the elect. There's power in prayer. You can't do it faint-hearted. You know, you're not going to get it if you're doing it without believing. This is Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it's impossible to please Him. All right, so it's impossible to please the Heavenly Father without faith. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that He is, and that He is a, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Okay? So the Heavenly Father rewards them that are on job consistently and constantly. Right? Not guys that take months off. Like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take this week off, you know. You you st you're saying f the scriptures basically, you know. F the sheep. Who cares about the sheep? I'll feed myself. And being faithless, that's a dangerous condition. That's a health condition. Being faithless. 
Romans 16 <clears throat> and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. So anyone that's telling you, oh, you don't need to pray, or oh, if you pray, you know, once a year, it'll be fine. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. And that proves that there is a, a correct doctrine, a specific correct doctrine. Not that we all just have to grow up in darkness, just guess, all right, I think this is right. What do you think? I think that's right. Okay, respect, let's do a unity camp. There is a truth. There is a truth, and therefore there is a falsehood. Verse 18. For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yehawah Shai HaMashach, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. You know, and that's a very easy thing to do. You know, you come on, you use fantastic words, or how does it say? Um... Oh, one minute. This is going to be a difficult one <laughs> to find this. There it is. That's the spirit. Colossians 2. And, well, we'll read it like this. Colossians 2 and 4. And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. Okay, so enticing words, that's easy, man. You say some fancy shit. You say some, you say E supports what you say. You bring out some peer-reviewed studies. Right, you say a few more fantabulous words. You say hapax legonomenon three times. Spin around, touch the floor. You know, and people are uh, they're with you. Right, you jump up, you clap, you sing, you dance. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. People are with it. You know, but until then, until um, if you're not on that, then there's not <laughs> there's not going to be a lot of numbers, man. You know, but this isn't a numbers thing. It's all about the elect. The Lord, when he's sending his angels, he's not coming to send a random, sorry, to gather random ninjas, right? He's coming to gather the elect. So with that being known, we should do whatever it takes to have our behavior in line with what we'd, we would expect of the elect if we want to make it. So not with enticing words. You know, that's not what this ministry is about. It's about bringing it plain Jane you know, and, and going back to the rudiments the first principles and prayer is a, fir a first principle right Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 it says wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all that getting get understanding right and a great way to get wisdom is to pray unto the heavenly father right if any of among you lack wisdom look at this right James 1 and 5 if any of you lack, lack wisdom, let him ask of them else high, <clears throat> that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Okay? So if you lack wisdom, you ask the Heavenly Father. How do you ask the Heavenly Father? Through prayer. Right? Through going to the Heavenly, going to Yahweh Shai to make intercession unto the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Right? These are key, key practices that we should be developing and increasing in these last days. Okay? Verse 14, Proverbs 4, 14. Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Right? And the path, a path, a path, a path of the wicked is not praying. A path of the wicked is forgetting the Heavenly Father. You know, focus on money, woman. Not that, you, not that you're not allowed to have money. Not that you're not allowed to have women. Or a woman. Well, women. But should that be your focus your main focus when you wake up you should be thinking about the heavenly father right not thinking about how to st chase a rack chase a stack and i understand that our people are in poverty that's all the more reason to seek the heavenly father you know it says it's a, a light thing for the lord to make a man rich paraphrasing you know even our fa forefathers you know prayed to the heavenly father give me neither poverty nor riches that's something but they're not trying to st get it out of their own self you know, I don't mean they're trying to get it off another man They're trying to get it off the Father Okay, so that's If it be your will, Heavenly Father If I can do it according to thy law you know, If you have to transgress And more time in this kingdom You have to transgress to get money We should be focused on the heavenly things Right, the things above Again, you can have a woman But she shouldn't in, in, How do you say Intercede No, 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 into Interrupt, we'll say. Shouldn't interrupt your your walk with the Heavenly Father, right? You shouldn't be breaking Sabbath for women. 
You shouldn't be breaking Sabbath for money. You know, sinning for money or women. That's of course off. You know, the, seek the kingdom first, and all these things should be added unto you. Not women and money, but the clothes. You know, what will I wear? What will I eat? Seek the kingdom first, and all these things will be added to you. So it always starts with prayer. Right? Even carnal things, they all start in the spirit. Okay. So let's recap. I'll call it there. So James chapter 5, verse 14. No, sorry, 16. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another, that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Okay, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Keep praying, stay prayed up, man. The demons are his spirits. It's a, it's a battle. So we have to be on point at all times. Shalom.